Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kiger. And up here today, a bit of an impromptu video. I, w I, was, I was looking at my list of videos to do and a lot of the stuff I need to do, I still need to write some things down. So I might do that um, over the weekend and get some stuff written down. But I thought I'd do an impromptu video today and I'm going to share with you my first impression, another first impressions video of Aliens Fire Team. I already did mention this a little bit in my last um, vlog video, video I did yesterday, but I didn't go into detail. Um, so Aliens Fire Team is a new um, three-player online co-op game. We can play it offline as well. Well, I don't think you can play it offline, but you can play it with bots. <laughs> um, it is one of those team-based horde shooters. Now, there are a lot of horde shooters recently. Of course, Left 4 Dead was the one that really started the horde shooter and for a long time we never really got a lot of horde shooters but we've had plenty of horde shooters come out these last couple of years we've had vermintide um vermintide one and two we've had um days gone world war z i know days gone was more open world but it had a lot of horde as well to it um world war z we've had the back for blood on the way and um so Aliens fire team. So they decided, you know, Focus decided we're going to make an Aliens themed one. And you know what? It, it's it's not a bad one to, to try out really because, you know, Alien movies, of course, when I say Aliens, I mean, you know, the Alien franchise, uh, the, you know, Ridley Scott franchise, movie franchise. But when, when you look through history, Alien and Aliens has had you know, a majority of games throughout history. And there have been some okay ones, like the Alien vs. Predator game, the Alien um, Trilogy game, the um, the uh, Alien Isolation game. And then there have been some not-so-great ones, like the NES Alien 3 or, you know, the Aliens Colonial Marines. We all know that. And you know what it makes me laugh? I feel like this game, Aliens Fire Team, is what Aliens Colonial Marines should have been. And I feel like that's what they were going for, but at the time, they probably just didn't have the right technology, I guess, to do it. And, you know, Sega could have really done something there with that. And, you know, Focus, um, I, I, I want to say that they've done other games like this, I want, but I don't really look into the developers. But So straight off the bat, you know, this is Aliens. This is an Alien. Yeah, there are two different versions. Alien is the one where there's one alien, and that's the horror movie franchise. Aliens is the sci-fi action with horror elements to it. You know, the ones where there's multiple aliens, the war, the shooting ones, lots of enemies and aliens and stuff like that. So so just don't go into this game and be thinking, oh, it's going to be just one alien. It's not. So basically how this game works, it is another sort of horde-based um, when I say horde based, I mean like swarms of enemies coming at you, you know, loads of enemies coming at you at once. And again, it uses a very similar format. The I say the left, I'm going to say the Left 4 Dead format, where it's got, you know, the the um, the hordes and then the different types of enemies. It has that sort of thing, but again, it adds its own twist on it. Again, what I like about this game is that it uses. Um, a class system. That's something that you need to be aware of. It uses a class system. So in, in many ways, this game's actually more like World War Z than any than any other game. If you want to compare it to a game anyway. Um, so you basically have different classes to choose from. You have the gunner class, you have the technician class, you have the um, the dock class, and then you have the um, the doctor class, and then you have the like demolitions um Team. So each character, and then there is an unlockable one out here as well. So each character um, class has their own different sort of abilities. Again, it uses that ability sort of thing. So the gunner's abilities are obviously being able to in enhance the team's weapons damage. And he has a grenade. Then you've got the technician who can use sentry turrets. The doctor one who can obviously use healing item, like a healing tower thing and then you've got the one that can like use rockets and explosions so but it, it uses the three player format kind of like the game second extinction if you've ever seen that game um so you have three players again you can play it completely solo um it will always search for a match but if you don't find players it's going to give you bots and to be honest 
the bots do their job basically and i like games that do fill it with bots to be honest i think that's a great great idea um because more and more games are trying to put more and more focus on being online only and i feel like some people might want to play this game but go i don't want to play it with other people um even when you're playing it with other people you know if you're not playing it as a team with your headset and in a party or whatever you can when you're trying to play this game uh, with randoms you can run into the same sort of problems that you would have in any co-op um shooter basically or any co-op game you know people might just do whatever they want um and there's no communication so um but i do like that i like the class system um again i think the class system worked well each class does their own thing you can sort of um try and plan your classes again it does have um, a lot of upgrade systems as well you can level up your characters get perks and you can fit in these different like modules and change your perks around and change your your class around and stuff like that same with your weapons you can get different weapons and each character um class has sort of main weapons that they use more than others obviously and again you can upgrade them it's got all the usual sort of cosmetics and that sort of thing it doesn't have a loot box system which i'm grateful for but it kind of does it's not a loot box system in the usual way um basically how it works is when you do missions you can sometimes find like ammo boxes but them um, with equipment in but sometimes they will give you items like a uh, cosmetic which is great um and i like that sort of thing um but another thing it also has and that reminds me of back for blood is the challenge card so before each mission you can choose a challenge card um and the challenge card could be anything from um if, if one person goes down everyone dies or um something as simple as you can't use a sidearm you can't use a main weapon you can only use pistols or or something like there's no health kit so kind of like modifiers but what i do like is they are choosable modifiers so you can do them it's kind of risk over risk for reward basically if you choose them some of them might give you an xp bonus other ones might give you a, an item or weapon attachment something like that um so yeah so that's something that i like um, so that's something I, I'm quite appreciative of is that it doesn't have a loot box system in the usual sense. Um, you do get credits and things and you can buy weapon upgrades and all of that stuff. Um, as for story, I think the story goes it takes place 30 years after the movie Aliens. Um, so, but it's based on a different ship and all of that. Honestly, a lot of the story is in talking to the people in the hub area and text and logs and things there was a cutscene at the start but i skipped it honestly in these sort of games i'm not that bothered about story because it's a co-op sort of horde based shooter kind of thing i don't really care much for the story um there are a lot of easter eggs for the fans of the aliens universe a lot of the challenge cards have references to the movies um and it's got the iconic weapons of course the classic um M m2 pulse rifle and all of that um and the sound and, and it looks great as well um one of my my, my i know it's going to sound stupid but one of the funniest things about the game is when you shoot the alien sometimes they'll stumble and because they sort of run at you on all fours when they walk they run and you shoot them and they stumble they sort of go on their side and then you sort of slide around it, it i don't know if it's a glitch or it's intentional but it's pretty funny nonetheless um of course it's got the usual sort of suspects of the different types of aliens you've got your basic drone weak ones that swarm you and then you've got the ones that pounce on you you've got the big armored ones that run at you and pick you up kind of like the boss ones um then you've got like the spitting ones and then you've got the ones that explode um all of the aliens explode obviously when you kill them and they've got the acid so you can't be too close to them and that's something that of course makes it a little bit different um is that when you kill an enemy normally when you're playing these sort of horde based games a lot of the time you're shooting enemies or slicing them up and stuff like that and you're just getting covered in blood in this game you don't really do that you want to try and take them out of range because when they die they leave acid on the floor or hit you with acid which hurts you so obviously you know kind of makes it a little bit more different and challenging i guess and being it is a three player format not a four player format and there are five classes i think one of them's unlockable it's the recon class um i kind of think that it's a game that you can really sort of 
fine tune how you want to play it basically um, if you're trying to play it with friends and stuff, you know, you can go, okay, we're definitely going to need a, a medic on the team or we might go guns blazing or something like that. Nonetheless, I think it's a, a pretty solid game. Um, I'm going to play some more tonight and stream it, so I might upload a couple of the streams over to YouTube. So if you want to check out some gameplay for it, you can. Um, but honestly, I, 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 I'm impressed with it so far. Um, I didn't really expect too much going into this i heard about this game a while back and i thought oh this one sounds interesting i told my friend about it and then he goes oh i picked it up um he did pick up the deluxe edition and i looked online what that includes and so you get these um, endeavor pass seasons one to four um so i don't know what their plans are for the future um something that um i will say is that he one complaint that he had was um oh you don't unlock horde mode straight away um you have to unlock it and i don't have a problem with that i think this game's doing the right thing by making you unlock stuff um and using the credit system rather than the usual loot box system um or the pay to play dlc or wait in a couple of months for the update to come out um having something to unlock gives you something to play for right kind of like the old school days you know you wanted those extra weapons or you wanted those extra levels or skills or whatever you would have to play the game and unlock it you know so i'm glad that they went with that sort of format the unlockable format um like i said this game is a great game for fans of the aliens universe um if you like the movie aliens definitely check it out like i said this game is kind of like what aliens colonial marines should have been um, you we all know what happened with Aliens Colonial Marines. And I don't even when, when I look back at Aliens Colonial Marines, I don't think it was as bad as everyone said it was. Um, but it definitely um wasn't what people expected for sure. Um very buggy game. I've already done a review on it years ago, but um I think this is kind of um the redemption kind of thing. It's kind of a game that sort of come out of nowhere really and there's a lot of these horde games coming out you know we've got the world war z update coming soon the aftermath the next version of world war z we've got back for blood coming out um you know there's probably going to be a vermintide 3 no doubt we've got the um other game that's coming out soon the um warhammer imperial guard horde game whatever it's going to be called i can't remember what the name of it's called but i know we're going to get that one come out um, so there are a ton of Horde games and I love Horde shooters, um, like I said the Left 4 Dead format in my opinion is one of the best formats in a game ever um, and I love them, you know they're great co-op games, they're just fun games, you know, you get yourself in there, pick up a controller and just blast your way through Aliens, you know. Um, the game is available on PS4, PS5, um, Xbox one the xbox series which is the version i'm playing it's the xbox series version and also steam i don't think it's coming out on switch i highly doubt they'll get a switch version um so it's got a variety of what it's out on um overall i'm impressed with it i'm enjoying it i I'm, i think it's a fun game it's definitely a game that i'll probably because it's got four like campaigns but because of the sort of um uh, different difficulties in the RNG and the leveling up and all of this sort of stuff and things like that and the challenge cards it does have some great replay value and I think over time they add more stuff to it and you've got horde mode and things so um it's, it's got a nice amount of content to it it doesn't feel like the game's come out and it's gone there's not enough content in here this game does feel nice um nice and full basically it's not like World War Z World War Z and Zombie Army 4 in my opinion were two games that came out and just didn't have a lot of content and all the content was through updates and dlc um in my opinion but this game has a nice amount of content and anything extra we get will just be a bonus in my opinion um i definitely recommend it for fans of horde shooters co-op shooters and definitely fans of the aliens universe because you'll have a great time with it because you if you like the aliens movies and you've always wanted to play another aliens game Highly recommend it. Definitely a game that I'd recommend playing with other um, up to two more people. One more person's fine. Playing it on your own, you probably can do it. But obviously, with bots, how far you're going to get, I don't know. Nonetheless, 
Aliens Fireteam, my first impressions are pretty awesome. I'm going to give it maybe a, a 9, an 8.5 to a 9. It's kind of a high one, but I haven't found anything in it that I don't like so far. Um, the only reason I don't rate it at a 10 because my 10s are uh, for the exceptional games, of course. The games that go above and beyond in game breaking. Um, this is, a, in my opinion, just a great... Even though it's a um, trademarked game, of course, a licensed game, it's just proof that with the right people behind it and the right ideas, a licensed game can still be awesome. So, Aliens Fireteam, um, if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like and, of course, comment below. Let me know if you played Aliens Fireteam. If not, what is your favourite Alien game? When I say Aliens, Alien, I'm on about the movies Aliens, not, not just Alien games in general. And as always, guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch at the Mad Tiger. I will be streaming some Aliens Fireteam tonight about seven o'clock British Standard Time. Um, I will maybe upload them to YouTube as well if I get a chance to. Um, not that I won't have a chance to, but. And as always, guys, uh, eBay store on the link as well on my channel. Put some more stuff up for sale soon. So, uh, um, and. Don't be surprised if some more DVDs and things go up to sale now that I've got my little plea, uh, DVD player so I can start watching more of them. Um, so as always guys, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.